Well, friends, welcome to day two at Beaver Creek here. Uh, we're still trying to work off all the food that we ate yesterday. But um, actually, we're not making a strong effort at that. And that this <laughs> afternoon, we're doing a Jeep tour <laughs> where we're going to sit, much like we're doing now on the chairlift. But it is beautiful, very scenic. Um, as Jordan well noted, it's uh, the first time I think we've ever been on a chairlift in flip-flops. So uh, just goes to show you that Beaver Creek is not just for the winter, it's for the summer too. On to the Jeep tour. All right, well, we're a little early for our Jeep tour. So as it turns out, here at the uh, Spruce Saddle, you can pick yourself up some disc golf discs. And uh, as you may know, for regular golf, you as few shots as possible, and we're going for the basket down there. So, Jordan, go ahead. So we've given up our frisbee golf careers for a Jeep ride. Jeep ride. Here at Beaver Creek. We got Travis at the helm. So what's up? What's up? Well, it was a little tricky to interview with Travis uh, on the drive. He was busy driving. So we're here on the brink. He's going to tell us a little bit more about the Jeep tours. They're in their second season. Second season. Just over an hour each tour. Just over an hour. We're starting at 10 o'clock every day, seven days a week here at Beaver Creek. Last tour is at four o'clock. Uh, perfect for the families. Come out, check out Gore Range, check out views of Back Bowls of Vale, West Vale, and the real big hit is where we're standing right now. Check out the Brink. The Brink is part of our World Cup downhill course, the only downhill course in North America. Come out here, big hit with the kids. Great views for pictures. So, come on out. Yeah, it's really nice. It's uh. You know, for the more active folks, you're probably going to walk this, but you know, when you're bringing out grandma or you're bringing someone who is just not ready for the walk and is not, maybe not dealing well with the altitude, um, the, the Jeep tour is a, a really good option for them. So definitely a big hit with grandma, grandpa, uh, folks that, you know, maybe just want to take it easy, sit in the back of a Jeep, nice cushy seats, uh, check out the views, kind of hit the easy button. Get a chance to explore the mountain Definitely. as well. So we're uh, we're finishing up our tour. We're heading down. Edna. Travis, thanks very much. Hey, thanks Appreciate for coming. the ride. Yeah, and off to lunch. Let's do it. Well, lunch turned out well there at the top of the Centennial chairlift at Spruce Saddle. Um, was a little surprising though in that for two sandwiches, two sides, two drinks, fifty dollars. So maybe. Brown bag it. That's an idea. Totally legal. Uh, but beautiful. And uh, now we're heading down. We're downtown. We're in the Beaver Creek Village checking out the Wine and Spirits Festival. So stay tuned to what we find from that. Hey, I'm Jason Chere. I work for the Family and Makers of Kettle One Vodka. We're featuring a brand new gin out on the market in Colorado here. It's called Nolet Silver. Modern take on gin. Feature botanicals, uh, we've got Turkish rose, peach, and raspberry. Give it a try. Local sommelier, uh, wine manager at the shop in Beaver Creek, and one of my favorite wines is Tarantes from Argentina, from the Mendoza area, because it's crisp, citrusy, and zesty. I just love this wine. Well, it's actually quite difficult to get these guys to uh, stop to talk for a moment. You can see it's... Uh, it's pretty packed here, uh, so lots of great foods as well, and uh, you know, switching spirits. So we got two, we got two spirits covered here, but uh, you'll have to get down here for yourself uh, to see more of those. Uh, I did want to mention though that earlier in the day, we had a little cooking demonstration with uh, Chef Steve Topple, uh, put together a braised uh, beef short rib and a mustard polenta uh, that had sort of a red wine reduction. It's pretty nice. Um, it's tasty even. So, uh, and they also had a whole bunch of wines there as well for you to try out. Um, stuff from Washington and from California and as far as we as Italy. So, um, you know, a really neat festival they have down here at Beaver Creek. So if you have a chance, come down, check it out. 
Uh, we're just going to enjoy some good food now. Take care.